Oh, and yeah, another All Ireland final appearance to look forward to, and I suppose the excitement is starting to kick in now again. Yeah, I can't wait for it now, you know. Um, I suppose we're, we're a bit spoiled down here, you know, we get to sample it most years, but um, definitely looking forward to this one. Uh, training's going well, we're training hard, so um, hopefully things will, things will work out in the day. And obviously uh, it's against those old foes, Tipperary again, and sure doesn't get much bigger than that, and, and, and more locally, I suppose, so Tipperary being on the border, and uh, certainly adds an extra element to it. Yeah, it certainly does, you know, we've, have, we've had great games with Tipperary over the last number of years, so I think everyone is expecting another another good battle, so, um, but look, um, we'll, be, we'll be happy enough with a one-point win if it's a bad game, but, you know, um, hopefully the two teams will bring, bring out performance and it'll be a great game to watch. Yeah, and I suppose, just looking back on the semi-finals, two tough games against Waterford. But I suppose these are the type of games that you kind of want, in a way, um, to gear you up for such a big occasion like this. And, uh, you know, when you come to a tough battle like that, it does stand to you, even though it probably takes a lot out of you physically and mentally. Yeah, exactly. It does take a lot out of you. But, you know, I think the, the extra game will definitely help us. Um, you know, we probably didn't get the performance we wanted the first day, but certainly got it in the, in the replay. And, uh, you know, we got away with a two-point win. I think probably Watford were that on more unlucky in the second day um, because they played fantastically well, well as well. And, you know, and I, as neutral, I suppose it was a great game to watch. Um, not great to be involved. The, the nerves were kind of shattered by the end of it, but you know, we were delighted to get with the win and uh, focus our attention now onto the All-Ireland final. I suppose on a personal level, it's probably been a difficult enough sort of a year for you. I know you were away at the start of it, and you came back in, and I suppose things maybe might not your way in one or two games, but you know, you've, you're you're mentally strong. You've you've I suppose produced better performances as the season has gone on, but uh, you've obviously had to work, I suppose, a lot harder maybe than other years, I suppose, to get that performance back to where it would have been. Yeah, well, that's it. You know, I was away for the first three three or four months of the year, so um, things took me a, a lot longer than I expected when I came back. But you know, I just decided I was going to keep working at it and things would eventually come for me and the form would come and I'd get back up to the pace of things and hopefully t um, things are after taking a, a turn for the better so um, hopefully the form will come now and I feel I can come into a bit of form so um, as I say just looking forward now to, to the all Ireland final and hopefully things will go well. Yeah, and I suppose it's all about, not just on a personal level, but on a team level, to hit the, I suppose, the right peak at the right time. And um, that's going to be no different, obviously, on the 4th of September. No, that's, I suppose that's what the, the whole year is built on, is the all Ireland final. So definitely you want to be peaking for the all Ireland final. And if I can do that, I, I'll certainly be a very happy man. And just um, on all Ireland final day itself, you've been a part of many of them now down through the years. Um, What's it like mentally, um, for just to explain maybe ten outsiders, and you're talking to a Carl man here as well that wouldn't see Crow Park too often, you know, how do you actually channel that level of pressure and turn it into positivity and good energy and, you know, because a lot of people could crumble under that sort of pressure. Yeah, well I don't see it as pressure because it's something I love to do, you know, I, get excited. I still get excited about it, I still have the nerves, all that kind of stuff, you know, so really it's just about looking forward to it and embracing the challenge and you know, like like you said there, I, I've experienced it, you know, a good few times before, so um, I know what to expect. Um, but that's just it, you know. You just have to embrace these occasions, and you know they won't last forever. And who knows, everyone could be your last. Like Michael Finley there would love to be playing in this one. He's played in, in a couple before, but he'd love to be playing in this one because it's it's here and now, and you know he can't play. He's out injured, so um, you know you just have to get excited about these things and. I don't see it as pressure, I just see it as an enjoyment, you know. And just speaking to Michael Finley, obviously he's a, he's a huge loss, but I suppose like anyone that's missing, um, you kind of have to just pull that bit tighter together, I suppose, and maybe fill that gap. Yeah, well, that's it, you know. Michael has had an outstanding year and was playing exceptionally well again the last day before he pulled up. So, you know, we just have to, as you say, get together and hopefully someone will stand up now and take Michael's place and have a fantastic game. Finally then on, I suppose, on the day, what do you think it'll come down to? I suppose it's going to be a tight game, obviously, that's what people are expecting. Uh, for you personally, what, what do you think it will come down to on the day? Well, it's hard to know what it'll come down to. It'll, it'll come down to scores, I suppose, at the end, yeah. of, at the end of the day. But, you know, um, it's going to be a ferocious, ferocious battle and I think whoever wins that battle will, will come out on top. Um, if you don't win the battle around the middle third, I think it'll be hard to see, see you win the game. So... We'll just have to, from 1 to 15, and the lads that come on, 
you know, we'll just have to try and battle as hard as we can and win that battle and, as I say, just get the scores on the board.